What is going on guys today we are looking at the new mid or prime player pick it is coming in at just over a mil it is very very expensive so you know we've done it an 87 rated SBC 86 85 85 it's grindable with the player packs for a hell of a lot cheaper if you are are willing to wait that long and really put the effort in um the player picks were doing pretty well and obviously you can recycle what you get in them because an 85 285 should be relatively fine for it i reckon the 87 may be a little bit more tricky to get off purely off the player picks but personally we had a lot of fodder that i don't normally put in sbcs bar from things like this where it's very expensive and i've kind of kept all of the fodder that is more premium fodder a couple of icons obviously ones that are just never going to be used and i thought you know what we're going to do it we're going to we, i really want to give the t a, an attempt because this is the first player pick that everybody can go and do it is very expensive and i probably would suggest not doing it to an extent because it depends what you can get i personally believe in the risk it's how you make your team better there could be two r9s and a hullet i've seen on twitter a hullet and two cruyffs but then on the flip side i've seen uh mid ashley cole mid balak and mid lineker you literally can get such polar opposites and i think basing your decision on someone else's pick is completely irrelevant because we could go on Twitter and I could find you the best ones. We could see R9, Cruyff, Eusebio, Eusebio, R9, Hullet, 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 and Cruyff. It, you literally can get the best of the best, and that's what gets the likes. Nobody's liking the, the rubbish ones, the ones which literally barely break even 300k, and predominantly this could be free picks of literally 150k, 200k players. So you are taking a huge risk putting this in. So I would say make sure you are okay with putting the SBC together because this will be a huge coin suck for others to come. So let's jump on over to the console and see who we get in this. So as you see, we've got it done. We actually haven't spent a penny. So believe that or not, after doing all of the SBCs and everything, this one's going to be a huge one. This one is going to bankrupt people for literally a mid Lineker or something like that. And hopefully not because we literally put him in. Um, we get the player pick. It is one of three prime or mids. I'm praying for something big. Like anything big would be amazing. We can't open the mixed player pack. So we're just going to go straight into it. Let's open the first one of three prime or mid icon player picks. Come on, someone good. regret can you can you see that regret oh god this is oh this is horrendous i probably would go with socrates it's not great because i'm thinking guardiola is not better than essien so i'm quite happy to kind of skip him zanetti's personally not as good as lam or zambrotta who i've personally got can i just move my screen across just to figure out what sort of value i feel like socrates is going to be the only option really i like the brazilian icon so it's going to be him i think that is his mid i want to say i don't think it's his prime i don't think any of them are the primes to be honest that's a huge huge l to be honest how much is he coming in yeah literally four it's 450 so it's about just under half the sbc and then this is it you sometimes just don't get that payout. We have got a mixed player pack, and we will continue to grind the game again. Obviously, that, that's what you do. You take the risks. I've probably, this year alone, come to terms with taking the risk. And if you if you get bit, you get bit. We've got Freeze Mane out of a pack. We've had Icons. We've had plenty of fodder that, that has done us absolute, absolutely really well. But then you have a hu hundreds and hundreds of packs that don't. And it's just what it is. Um, unfortunately, that one didn't pay out for us. I wonder if the Chinese Silvers are going for anything still. Still going for a couple of K. Because at the minute, I'm literally just grinding the game in terms of bronze packs and selling everything. Like, if I could be asked, I really would be trying to sell pretty much most of this. Due to the fact that SB, the objective for the Italian player, it has made bronzes absolutely fly. So, if you are doing anything for making coins and you're not willing to trade, then definitely get on that. Because I think if I've got some here, you can see constantly like 200, 300. 
two and a half. You can literally sell them for so much, it's unreal. And you, you just cannot lose on them. It is literally physically impossible to lose on these cards. Um, obviously, Libertadores comes in. You're looking at literally two and a half for pretty much every position bar from goalkeeper. So that's obviously something that I would be highly recommending. And then just player picks for fun, to be honest. Whatever profit I make from bronze packs, whacking it onto player picks to get some fodder in. And that's really about it for today. They have brought out a Wendell that we do need to go and finish. I thought, you know what, we'll go and do the uh, the player pick first because this one's coming in. He doesn't look terrible, to be honest, but left back again. There's so many options there. We've literally got so many to go with, but it's an 85 and an 83, so we'll get that done tonight. He will be out later on, and we think we've just got the objective card to do. So hopefully you did enjoy this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and see you for the next one.